all right so we have set our page layout and made it a bit compact and a bit neat and clean and we have some collapsible sections here and also I did uh, log out and log in again and uh, as you can see that the blank space is coming up fine now right so uh, sometimes it takes some time or else you can just log out and log in to see the latest changes all right cool the next thing we'll be looking at is the related list here so the related list holds all the associations with this particular object right and even this can be handled by the page layout now when I say associations any kind of relationships that is built between two objects it could be a parent child relationship it could be a child parent relationship so those kind of relationships will be available on the related list right so let's say a contact and COVID count record are associated so on the contact layout you would see the COVID count association records in the rela related list what the detail section holds is only the fields that are for the particular object and any kind of associations will be available on the related list so if you can see by default and for all objects salesforce provides some relationships for attaching some attachments or notes and adding some files so these are available here but not on the detail section right all right let's go back to our setup and let's go to the page layout again so now let's go to covid count page layouts so currently there's just one layout right but we have been we have been configuring everything for two two personas one is the system administrator profile which is currently the person i'm logged in with and the other one is the support manager profile right so if you if we were to see that we have a user under the support manager profile as well this profile right here right so the a good use case of having different persona is you might want to show some kind of fields to a specific set of people and some different kinds of fields to a specific set of user right how do you kind of establish or you know uh, handle that scenario you can create multiple page layouts and assign them to different profiles right so i can just simply create a new page layout by clicking on new here all right and if it asks you whether you want to clone an existing page layout so if you want to keep all the things same and just do some tweaks and changes we can use an existing page layout and just give it the name of support manager layout so this would create our new page layout and it will be a clone of the COVID count layout right once we click on save you see this page layout opens up support manager if I click on this drop down now you have two layouts one is the COVID count layout and the other one is the support manager layout right so if I want to like uh, let's say that uh, I don't want my support manager guys to see the last two fields here the day category and the uh, checkbox so what I can do is I can just remove these and I can just click on save all right so now i have two different page layouts and both of them have different kinds of fields being displayed the covid count layout has all the fields and the support manager layout has all the fields minus the two fields that we just removed right but now if i were to go to my covid count record and refresh this page let's see if the two fields have been removed or not so you see these two fields are still here that's because the system administrator profile has been assigned the COVID count layout which still has all the page all the, all the fields available right what if I want to associate the support manager layout to the system administrator so I have to manually assign this particular page layout to a profile and that mapping can be done here on the page layout assignment section all right if you click on this button right here this shows you what profile is associated to which page layout and as you can see right now all your profiles in the system are currently associated with the COVID count layout how do I modify that I click on the edit assignment button I select a page layout let's say support manager layout I scroll down and I go to the relevant profile and let's say I want to modify it for these two guys right I'll just select the page layout as support manager and now you see all the others have COVID count but these two have support manager profile layout now let's click on save now once this assignment is done we are done with the part of actually creating the page layout and also assigning it to the relevant layouts right now if I were to go to the page and refresh this most likely the last two fields should be gone away right so you don't see those two, two fields now right so this is how you can simulate you know having different layouts or different visuals for different kind of personas or actors in the system so if, if a specific actor needs to see certain fields you need to create a different page layout and assign it to the profile that user is associated to all right let's go back and edit this assignment and i'll keep this page layout as support manager for the support manager profile but for the system administrator i'll choose the COVID count layout right let's click on save sounds good all right let's go back to our page layout and let's look at some more things so if i go to the page layouts and if i go to the COVID count layout so this is the layout right here right this is what you see and you'd notice that there are some symbols available so when you hover over each each field 
first of all you see that there's a lock sign here which means it is a read only field it's it, it cannot be edit editable that's the same for created by last modified by and total cases i hope you already understand that these are timestamp fields and this is the auto number field that's why these are not editable but what about total cases why is that a read only field because that's a formula field right everything apart from that are editable but what if i want to mark a field read only on the page layout let's say my support manager profile guy should not be able to edit the comment section let's say this particular section right here only the system admin can do that so what would i do i would go to my support manager layout because that's the layout i want to modify and under here i go to the comments field and you see this gear icon coming up if i click on this remove icon this will take it right here that means it will be removed from the layout but what i want is i want to mark this as a read only field so i can just check it as read only here so you see you don't have to make things read only or required on the object level you can do that on the page layout level which is a better practice and a, and a better uh, thing to do right because if you do it on the object level let's say you mark this field as read only or required on the object level that would mean it's it, it will be consistently read only or required for all profiles right because you're doing that on the object level when we're defining the, the field but if you want this behavior to be different for different profiles you can do it through the page layout sounds good so here let's mark this comments field as read only i can do that and when i click on read only here you see the lock icon comes up here for comments as well right similarly let's say i want my support manager profile to always enter the entry date that means whenever they want to create a record they should be able to create uh, they should mention or you know uh, enter the entry date how do i do that instead of the read only i mark this field as required and when i click on required you see one red asterisk sign comes up here that says required and i can just save it all right so we have made our changes to the covid count layout and we have assigned this layout to the support manager guy but now let's go ahead and test everything with this particular profile and see how things look like because we have been configuring a lot for these two profiles but we haven't haven't really checked how things look like for the support manager guy right so in the next lecture let's look at that